Good morning from Joburg TV News. I'm Gail Fasaki with your top stories. Members of Gauteng Provincial Legislature sworn in. Johannesburg residents to pay more for water and electricity. The Gauteng Provincial Legislature welcomes new members of the legislature during the first sitting of the legislature. The Gauteng Judge pres President presided over the sitting. Our reporter Precious Mola has more on the story. 73 members of the Gauteng Provincial Legislature set in for the first sitting of the 6th administration on Wednesday at Johannesburg. 37 members of ANC, 20 DA members, 11 EFF members, a Freedom Front Plus member and also a member of the African Christian Democratic Party were sworn in as members of the Provincial Legislature as part of the day's orders. David Makura was elected for the second term as premier against the DA Solim Simang with just a difference of six votes. Ling Teng Helen Mehwe also returns as the speaker of the legislature while Nomfuyo Manamela was elected deputy speaker amongst other nominations. I'm Precious Molam, Jobek TV News, Johannesburg. Johannesburg residents can expect to pay more for water and electricity when the new tariff hikes come into effect on the 1st of July. Property rates and refuse removal fees are also set to rise. Member of the Mayoral Committee for Finance in the city of Joburg, Funzelo Ngobeni, tabled the city's 64.5 billion rand budget for the 2019 and 2020 financial year in Bramfontein yesterday. Ngobeni said the decision by the National Energy Regulator to grant ESCOM a price increase also forces the city to hike its tariffs. Ayanda Vezi has more with your sports updates. Thank you, Kale. I'm Ayanda Vezi with your job TV sports headlines. Limpompo's hopes of, ha of having a fit team in the PSL are slowly dying away. Bongi Wemsomi becomes the first black person to captain the netball team at the World Cup. And Faf Duplessis hints at the Proteas lineups at the World Cup. I'm Ayanda Vezi, Job TV. Time for your traffic and weather updates. And now to your traffic and weather updates. Kempton Park, there is an accident on the R21 South near the R23 Benoni exit causing queue in traffic. In Randburg, there is an accident on the N1 North before the Malibongi Drive exit causing queue in traffic. And in Centurion, there is an accident on the N14 North before the Jean Avenue exit causing heavy traffic. And in your weather updates, Johannesburg is mostly sunny at a high of 24 degrees Celsius. Santon is also at a high of 24 degrees Celsius. And Soweto is also at 24 degrees Celsius. Back to the news desk. And that's it from the team and I. Catch your next bulletin at midday. Goodbye.